Good morning, Penny here. So, here we go. See all my grays? It's wash day. I'm gonna wash my hair. Now, if you look closely at my grays, you will see, yes, it's obviously gray, but you also see a brassy undertone that we are going to spruce up because I finally found my vegan um, toning and purple shampoo to help tone down this brassiness and tone up the silver of my gray. So here we go. I'm going to wash my hair. I'm doing it now. I've been lazy about it because, you know, with the extra length, it's work to wash my hair now. <laughs> so let's go. Whew. So we're over here at my sink, at my kitchen sink. And yeah, we're going to wash our hair. So first, um, before you use toner shampoo, you have to wash your hair like you regularly wash your hair. Now, I wash my hair with um, a mixture of two shampoos when I wash my hair regularly. It's a sulfate-free shampoo. I use Peculiar Roots ACV shampoo. And I use Peculiar Roots 2-in-1 Black Castor Oil shampoo. Okay. Um, another brand made for locks also makes ACV shampoo, which is really good too. So um, until I finish all of my supply of my Peculiar Roots, then I will move to that. After I washed my hair really good, Verb, this right here. This is the vegan toning shampoo and conditioner that I found. Oh, well, this is the shampoo, but I have a conditioner too that I found that I'm going to use as a toner to brighten up my grays. So let's do this. You already seen my video of me washing my hair, so I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, so I washed my hair and I put the third, um, I put, I washed my hair and now I have the toning shampoo in my hair. This is the purple shampoo. As you see, it turns my, it's like a lavender tint on my hair, right? See, the suds, very lavender, lavender-ish. <laughs> So, let me tell you a little bit more about Verb. Verb is a cleanse plus tone plus bright and purple shampoo for blonde, gray, or silver hair tones. Now, I have gray, right? Um, and so, this is a vegan toning shampoo. No parabens, no gluten, no harmful sulfates, right? And... I read over all the ingredients. I looked everything up. It's safe for my hair. It won't dry my hair out. Make it feel all janky and stupid. So let me talk you through. If you have grays and you want to spruce up your gray hair, here's how you do it. To do a toning shampoo. A lot of people think that they're supposed to wash their hair the entire time with washing your ha their hair with the toning shampoo. So the toning shampoo's primary job is for toning purposes. So before you use that shampoo, you are to wash your hair like you normally do with your regular shampoo. Then you put the toning shampoo, right? Generally, you only need to use it the one time during that wash cycle. And once you have done that, right, you leave it on your hair for about three or four minutes, five minutes max, but I'm gonna just leave it on for three to four minutes and then you rinse it thoroughly, right? That should help tone down the brass tones that's in your gray area and increase the silver in the gray area to really make it stand out, right? So that's what my task here is to do. The purple pigment helps to tone down those yellow tones, those brassy yellow tones out of your gray hair. That's the whole point of it being purple. Okay, a lot of times people don't understand 
that there are different layers of color in your hair. Like, for example, if you lift and color out of your hair and your hair is generally black, it has to go through a lot of different tones, like um, reds and yellows and orange and, <laughs> you know, before it gets to like a blonde color. That's why a lot of times when people are lifting color out of their hair, if they rinse it out too soon, they get that yellow tint in their hair. And that's why toning shampoo is necessary to kind of tone down that yellow and make it, the blonde stand out more, right? So I'm going to get ready to go and rinse this out and then I'll let you see an after of my hair while it's wet. And then I will do a second clip of the after after my hair has dried a little bit more so you can really see the improvement in the cold in the in the not gold in the gray in my hair okay so i just wanted to share that with you i'll be right back hello so i am back i am done washing my hair letting it dry a little bit in my microfiber towel i wrung it out before i put my towel on so now i'm just oh. that was work see i gotta catch my breath and everything sit here and rest my back child when i tell you yeah that's the um the only part of me doing my own hair once it reaches a certain length it's work to wash my hair whether it's in here in my at my kitchen sink or in my shower it's still work because holding my arms up for a long period of time and making sure i get everything and thoroughly rinse it it's the rinsing. It takes a while. Like, this video is going to be, like, less than 10 minutes. It takes me about 30, 35 minutes to wash my hair because I have to rinse it thoroughly after every wash and all of that. It takes a minute. Whew. Look, the sun even shifted the, um where, where it was. <laughs> I started um washing my hair. What time was it? It was about 10, 20, no, 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 10, 15, and now it's 10, it's 10, 53. So it takes a little more than a half hour for me to wash my hair, um, which is not terrible. Like some people, they think that it takes hours, but it used to literally take me 15 minutes max to wash my hair. Like start to finish um with the washing and um but each cycle that I wash my hair takes about 10 to 12 minutes now to do because like I said the rinsing part and I'm not rough with cleansing and massaging my hair and cleaning it out so I take my time with that too um but yeah I'm finally done so I had this up long enough. I'm going to take it down. And I did shampoo it from the roots all the way out. So, you see the differences in my gray. How it has sort of like a lavender-ish tint, but it doesn't have that yellow tint anymore. All right? And see if you can see it did a salt and pepper pot in the back too. I'm not sure if you can, but I did make sure that I put the the shampoo in from root to tip so that the gray would just stand out nicer in, in the salt and pepper effect that it has in my hair all the way down. Right? So you could see the gray standing out more and how far down my lock that my gray hair has grown in, right? I started letting my hair, my gray hair, just do its thing for a few years now. And I love how, as my hair gets longer, there's more gray than dark hair. And soon, they'll all be pretty light. <laughs> but, yeah, see? And you see my brown and red tints of hair is shining through, right? Because I had used a demi-permanent um, color organic herbitant dye when I 
last colored my hair and that was about three years ago. So I don't color my hair at all anymore. But I didn't want my red hair to be too bright. You know, because I didn't want it to look like I had a triple ombre effect. But my natural hair is more in a light brownish, you know, coconut, not coconut brown, um, chestnut brown, I guess, family. You know, my hair, my natural hair was never black. It was always like in the brown family. But when I darkened my hair, I did put a black on it so that when it starts lifting off, it would not go so far up to the bright red that I used to have in my hair, which was more like this tint right here. Yeah. So I don't mind the ends being a little bit brighter on that red side, but for the most part, it doesn't look like a triple ombre, and that was the effect that I was going for. So I'm going to come back in a little bit after my hair dries, so I'm going to let it air dry and just show you what the gray looks like as the day progresses okay okay so now that it's more dry just want to show you a little better that it's less brassy the tone is less brassy than it was no more of that yellow tint in there and that's important to me i don't want no yellow tint in my hair but as time progresses, you know, it's just like, I love it. And I love the, 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 the purple pigment that's in there because it gives it more of a silver tint. Now, yeah, I got to clean up my little front edges a little bit there because it will still be a little while before I do a retwist. Yeah, but... When you tone that 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 brass, that yellow tints down, yes indeed, yes baby, yes, just yes, just yes. And if you just look throughout, like with the salt and pepper, throughout my locks, it just looks so much better to me, you know. And that's what I wanted. So thank you for joining me on this uh, little mini series of me toning down the brassy yellow tints in my gray hair. Sorry, my lips are dry as hell. <laughs> um, in my, it, toning down the yellow tints in my gray hair because I just wasn't feeling it. And the fact that I promised you this video, I want to say thank you because I was really dreading having to wash my hair because again, it's work. It sure will, but I got it done. And the next time that I do um, do a wash, I'm going to do my retwist. It's been four months. It's been more than four months, so it's time. <laughs> All right. Toodles.